Everyone, welcome back to another episode of Astro Pill. Thanks for tuning in. Check out that rockin' music. Holy cow, it sounds amazing. As you can see on the screen, we're gonna be playing Valhalla Kids today. In yesterday's episode, we played their Game Jam game sales pitch. Uh, back in 20, they made it back in 2014. And uh, this game, Valhalla Kids, was their April Fool's game, apparently, um, on this year's April Fool's. So I briefly, like, all I know from, like, the glance uh, at the description that I took was, like, um, We've heard your complaints that Valhalla is too adult and too mature, so we made something more friendly for kids, or something like that. Um, so that's about all I know, and aside from that, the, the art style is so cool. It's so cool, I love it. I love the colors, the lines, the style, it looks really good. So, let's go ahead, let's get started, let's see what's up. Wow, check this out! Yeah, they've even got the manga panels. Ooh, it's flashing colors all the way back there. And this background, I'm excited for this. Um, I'm probably just gonna give them their regular voices, even though they're presumably younger. I think, like, they're all in the same high school or something like that, even though they're, like, wildly different ages. It's just, like, an AU or something like that. Oh, one other important detail that they, they made sure to note was that they're all, um, of age. So, none of them are underage, so uh, I'm a bit nervous. Okay, it was a cloudy, human day. The kind of day that saps you out of your will to do anything. I was minding my own business after class when a girl showed up at the door. Uh, whoever this is, excuse me, Dana? Holy! Yes, who? Oh my god, look! They look so good! She looks so cool, that is awesome. Whoever drew this props to you, this looks so good. And then a d d d donor, uh, it's probably pronounced differently than that, kebab crashed through the window! Oh, hi! Oh, Stella, she's so cute! This style is so good, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, uh, uh Sorry, you, uh, uh, Stella! Is this a bad time? You saw nothing. What's up? All her ears went down, this is so cute! You see, it's about to say. Say no more, who do I have to beat up? That's the thing, we don't know yet. She was working on a booth for ne next week's festival. Someone beat her up? Did some or did somebody break the booth or something? Oh my god, who did it? I'm gonna kill him. She was storing it in the auditorium like everyone else, but... Uh, what happened? Oh no! Here we go. <gasps> Say! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry over like every person that shows up on screen. They look so cute. I love this so much. Uh, what was your voice? It was like... Excuse- whoa, excuse me! Oh god, that burp just kind of surprisingly exploded out of me. Excuse me, I'm so ladylike. Um, hold on, let me try out- Sheesh, you actually went and bothered Dana about this? What was it? It was like kind of ditzy and kind of like, p out there? Everything's fine, don't worry. It's not fine! You put your soul into that boost to make it perfect! I uh, didn't really. And then someone came and destroyed it! You deserve better than that! I didn't do much, so I didn't lose. Filthy jabronis destroying the hard work of an innocent girl. Beautiful, beautiful. Got that smoke come out of her. I'll track their asses down and make them pay. Dana, go, 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 Dana. I'm, I'll follow you on your quest. Uh, please don't get so excited about it. I can't, I can't remember Say's voice very well. It'll come to me. But first, I gotta ask some questions. Great, I'll be at your base if you need me. Why there? Because that place is a mess! How can you stand being there? You can't even walk properly! Right, uh... I just can't leave it no- uh, leave it be knowing it's like that. Now go, you gotta find the terrorist. Let's go! Beautiful! Oh, cool! Where do I start looking? Maybe I should ask someone. Uh, can I talk to anyone here? Oh, they're back here. Uh, say? Do you have any more to say? Let's see. Thanks for worrying, Dana, but it's not- It is! I just can't let a scumbag like this roam free in my school! Then uh, be careful, okay? I think that was it. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Let's move. Uh, unless we should look around. Crushed booth? I won't let this booth's death be in vain! It didn't really die. Of course it didn't. It lives within all of us. Um... 
Ah, <laughs> oh, say. Y'all are sweet. Okay, let's go to the base real fast. The Zane Dungeon. Oh, okay, okay, this is- uh, that's so funny, I didn't notice this before. She painted a portrait of herself? That's beautiful artistic talent, honestly, that's pretty incredible. Homely and comfy, a base worthy of me. But if Stella comes to clean, I won't complain. Uh, can I talk to anyone here? I hear voices in my head! They counsel me, they understand! Is she singing something or she's just going insane right now? Because I would- she is very likely to do both. They talk to me. They talk. <laughs> I guess they were singing. She was singing maybe a metal song or something. <clears throat> oh, good. Okay, she talked to herself. Back to the yard. Maybe we can talk to Stella a little bit more then. Uh, talk to Stella. We got to get to the bottom of this atrocious mess. Where do you think I should start looking? The auditorium, of course. That's where this whole thing took place. Sounds good. Thanks, Stella. Thanks for the help. We're going to move to the auditorium. Okay. JK Lawler? Like JK Lol. But what about the er part? <laughs> Alright, let's check out the uh Oh, hi Gabby! Oh she <laughs> She's the student council president. Of course she would be. I mean, she seems like she could be um Dana seems like she could be a student council president, but like a very chaotic one. Gabby seems like one who's like very righteous and like upholding the rules and stuff. You can't pass! Whoa! Why not? Because I'm the law! And the law says you can't pass! Yeah, but, excuse me, gosh, we just saw Burpee. Just finished eating some food, that's probably why. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, but why? Because I'm the law. Um, oh, it's you, Gabby. Agent De Extra, Extraty, awesome Agent Gabby. And who gave you authority? Uh, Athora, what's that? Does she get sleepy easily? The power to say that I can't pass. The law! But aren't you the law? Yes! Then you gave yourself power? I did what? You say you're the law. I am! And the law gave you authority. Author- uh, Yes! Then you gave yourself authority. I- This is going places. Conversation? Going places. <laughs> <laughs> say, where's Jill? I can't wait to see what Jill looks like. You're a real cutie, by the way. At the entrance near the blue tree. Thank you. <laughs> Blue tree? Gabby won't let me pass. Let's look for Jill at the entrance. Okay, um, back to the entrance. Oh wait, not back to the entrance, new location, yes? Oh, okay, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, they're so cute! I love this, I love that they added like little manga panels, it really does feel like a manga. Great, just the girl in the tits I was looking for, floating boobs, yeah, good. Good, yep, that's all she is, just her boobs, mm-hmm. Uh, Dana, can you come and cheer up Jill for a bit? What? What happened? Uh, nothing happened. Were you crying? Who the hell made you cry? Nothing. Who's nothing? Nothing made me freaking cry. I just kind of did. Uh, oh. I know, right? Two similarly voiced people in the same place. I'll see if I can distinguish them. Are you here to patronize me too, boss? We're calling your boss even in this universe? Maybe later. Say, can you do something about Gabby? Did that brat sneak into the cafeteria again? I wish. I have a craving for pickles right now. Me too, honestly, now that you bring it up. I like pickles. I know not everybody does, but I like sour, sour salty stuff. So pickles, right up my alley. What? What's this about pickles? Last week, Gabby snuck into the cafeteria and put pickles in everything. <laughs> Oh god, that girl! So, what is she doing this time? She's blocking the auditorium entrance, saying she's the law. Uh, don't worry, it's almost her nap time. She'll be out of there in no time. Really? Yeah, she'll probably be gone by the time you get there. Ugh. Okay, great. Jill says Gabby should be gone by the time I go back to the auditorium. Okay, let's go ahead and head back then. Everything is so goddamn cute, gosh dang. Oh, Gabby's gone. Well, uh, let's check the auditorium. Okay. Uh, how do I look? Auditorium. Why didn't I move? Why did I have to click look? Mm. Well, that's one hell of a... Oh, hi! Okay, good, yes. Bombastic entrance, perfect thing to say. Big hall! Oh. Yahoo, Dana! 
You came to see the big hole too? I came to investigate the place, but I didn't expect this. Investigate? Oh, she's got hard eyes. Just is just natural. <laughs> what you investigating? Tell me, tell me. Well, that sounds like a this is a bit of a long story kind of well. Let's talk in my classroom. It's cooler there. Sure. Her classroom specifically? Uh, I guess just the one that she's a part of. Got it. I thought like I own this classroom. Okay, here we go. This is so cute. They just like threw this together. That's awesome. Did they do this in 3D? How did they do that? It's the same sound effects as the game too. Pretty good. Uh, what happened? I'm a little nervous. What happened? Uh, hmm. Knowing what this character's like, it could mean a lot of things. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, that. The weirdest thing happened. A kebab. Oh, the kebab that she was screaming about? I thought she was just screaming those words just randomly. There was an actual kebab that went flying through somewhere. Just went and crashed through the window. Is it is it Dana's? Did she throw it? Why? But if so, why? Why? She's not the one to waste food. She loves food. You okay, Dana? Can I keep it? If you don't care where it's been, sure. Okay. Is that part of the crime? So tell me, who's with you at the auditorium? You saw someone else? Don't play stupid. I bet you were about to indulge in some steamy action before seeing the hole. You've lost me. So you weren't at the auditorium to make out? You were actually investigating? Well, yeah. And here I thought Honey finally hit the jackpot. Dorothy, please explain what the hell you're on about. I am so thick about these things. Sex. People go to the auditorium to make out to eat each other. So I thought the hole deterred you from exploring other holes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Aww. So what were you what were you investigating? Say's project got destroyed and it was stored there. And you think the ceiling crushed it? I thought someone crushed it. Well, the ceiling didn't just disappear. I heard they were clearing away rubble and debris before. To be honest, I'm more worried if someone got hurt. So, mind if I tag along for a bit? I'm kind of bored, to be honest. Only if I can take that kebab with me. Sure. Let's check on everyone, see if someone's hurt. Oh, okay, that's sweet. Thanks so much, Dorothy. Let's go ahead and move back to the art, I guess. Just talk to everybody. I don't know exactly where we're going. Hi, Betty. Oh, she looks so cute. This is great. It's kind of nice to be able to see, I mean, their bodies in more clarity just because um, most of them are pretty dark and blended in the background. I know this isn't their like canon outfits or anything, but it's it's nice to see like their entire body very clearly basically. Cause I never knew that her hair was like this, that it like kind of cut off like that and then just went over long. Like I knew there was like a ponytail of some sort, but yeah, she looks so cute. Whoa, did you bring us a snack? Mine. Don't be like that. Where did you find it anyways? On the floor. Um. <laughs> It crashed through the window, actually. Did it now? I'm surprised nobody even heard it or came running over. So you can have some if she wants, though. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. I don't want something that was on the floor. I, I don't know, even I'm probably beyond that. Time to check on people, see if anyone's hurt. Okay, so we're just gonna go everywhere, I guess, uh, to the base. Was anybody else here? I can't get over the name, it's so good. The Zane Dungeon. Hello, hello! Oh, okay, right, right, Stella said she's gonna be hanging out here. A uh, Darcy. Hey, Stella, look at this. I just cleaned the place, and you're bringing a friggin' kebab in here? But it was so lonely by itself. Where did you get it anyways? It crashed through a window. Uh, sure, why not? I give up at this point, you guys are all crazy. It stays then. No, I didn't mean, Ah, uh, never mind. I did my part. Whatever happens after is not my problem. Time to check on people, see if anyone's hurt. Okay, back to the entrance so we can see Jill and Alma. Dorothy! I'm a sidekick! So, where's Gabby? She went home. By herself? Her sister came. Oh, her sister's alive in this universe! Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, the auditorium itself, we didn't go back there just yet, so let's go ahead and go there. Uh, look at the auditorium? Uh, who else? Look at the auditorium itself? Nope. Looks like there's nothing for me to do here. Can I talk to somebody? Where am I going? Is Dorothy herself hurt? Where am I going? 
Hello? Betty! What were you buying? Uh, what were you buying before, by the way? Oh, you know, the basics. Glue, nails, paper, markers, booze. What was that last one? Uh, markers. Mmm, good, good one. Say, say. Yes, yes? <laughs> they did the same joke in the actual game. <laughs> when you found the booth, did it have debris on it? Yeah. So the ceiling did collapse on top of it. Why didn't you tell me about this before? I tried to, but you were so focused on finding a, a culprit that I wasn't able to. Dana. Dana, Dana, Dana. <sighs> and here I wanted to punch someone. Now I just want to kick myself. I'm kind of worried that someone might have been hurt, you know? Me too! Come on, Dina, you still have one more duty! <sighs> okay, so we solved we solved that mystery, but now we gotta talk to everything. If you smell anything weird, it's the markers. Sure, I'm sure that's the case. Okay, uh, where else do we have to go? Are you okay? Have you found anything? There's no case. The ceiling collapsed on top of the booth. Oh! Oh! Maybe see a tackle. It's over, Stella. This is so serious. The music's so serious. <sighs> Why didn't she tell us? She tried. We didn't give her a chance. Well, gotta go. Where? To help say. What else? Yeah, help, help her. Um, help her rebuild the booth, eh? Okay, back to the entrance. I guess we can talk to them. So, Jill, want to check out the hole in the auditorium? Is she really invited you to check her hole in the auditorium? Uh, well, it's not mine, really. It doesn't belong to me, per se. She's inviting you to the auditorium to check someone else's hole? <clears throat> well, are you gonna take the chance of a lifetime or not, honey? You're having too much of a freaking laugh. I'm not hearing a no. Good, good one. Hey, Alma, do you know about what they do in the auditorium? I might have started that, unwittingly. Really? So, I was talking to Lyra from Class C, and we started talking about romance novels. I lent her one of mine, and there was this climactic scene in the auditorium. Lyra told me about what she did, trying to imitate the book. And, well, so they, oh, some sort of raunchy thing, and they caused a giant ceiling hole piece to break down? You know how those things go. No, I don't know how those things go. Please elaborate further. I have no idea how this could have happened. A friend of a friend hears a rumor, and before you know, before you know it, an urban legend pops up. So you like romance novels? Hmm? Jill got me into them, yeah. Okay, great. It seems like everybody's okay. Where else do I have to check? Dorothy herself? No, I already, I already tried that. Who can I talk to? There's nobody to talk to. Am I missing somewhere? Perhaps I have to talk to, um... Uh, what's her face? Oopsie. Ah! I think that kebab is still undercooked. I don't even know what I clicked. Uh, I call it rare. Can you eat rare kebab meat? Of course I can! True, but should you? Hmm. Oh my god! I always talk about this, but Berkeley, before we do something infuriating, he's probably listening right now. Berkeley, if you're listening, I'm calling you out. But it'd be like, um, so can you eat pineapple, which he's allergic to? He's like, well, I can eat pineapple. It's like, uh-huh. It's like, I'll just feel really itchy and stuff and die maybe, but I can eat it. So, okay, no, don't answer my question like that. It's like, uh, man, go to, it's like, can I go to the bathroom? May you go to the bathroom? It's the same thing. Don't do it. Stop. <laughs> Uh, the- what was I- oh, look, got it. Okay, that was what I clicked- whoopsie! Oh, I accidentally right-clicked and that's what showed up. So, this is the as asbestos room? Alleged asbestos room. Iris made some people run some tests and there was no such thing. Oh, they mentioned Iris here too. I looked into it for a while and apparently it was all a ruse. Why though? The principal had to cut the arts and crafts program for budget reasons. Oh, hell no, nah. I ain't down with that. No, principal, you suck. Arts and crafts are extremely important, okay? At least, that's what he says. Something tells me he had a debt to pay or something, ah. Uh, but yeah, guess he thought asbestos problems sounded prettier than budget cut. How are you using it then? Good old blackmail. Nice. Good, good, nice. Okay, who else do we have to talk to at this point? Um, Stella out here? Well, we did our best. 
Yeah. And that's it. I do appreciate everything you've done. Hmm. Where else am I supposed to go? We're at the end of the episode here, but I think this is about where I'm gonna be... About where I'm gonna... It's, this is gonna be ending, I think. Where's a kid when you need one? What does that mean? Fabio the 13th is too sappy for my taste. Fabio the 12th reached a nice sweet spot. I think she mentioned that novel in the, um, the actual game. Uh, whoops. Look at Jill? Okay, Dorothy, analyze her. Huh? She'll grow into a damn fine woman as long as she keeps a good diet. What about bruises? The edges of her eyes look a bit red. Oh, uh, that's because she was crying a bit before. The bruises were in her heart all along. Uh, nothing so serious. Uh, how do you think she'd look with a ponytail? I have a theory that Jill's twin tails are actually some manner of power limiter. Yes, good, wonderful. What do we have here? Um, a girl that I suspect might have lied about her actual age. What about bruises? I see something resembling a red spot on her neck. You're looking too much. Good, good one. Uh, what the heck? What am I supposed to do? Uh, hold on, let me just figure out what, what my next step is, because uh, I'm pretty sure we're right at the end. BRB. Okay, whoops, I think I was literally supposed to look, not talk, so I clicked look, so let's take a look. So, what do you think, Dorothy? She looks cuter since she went back to wearing a female uniform. True, but what about bruises? Right, because we're checking out everyone's injuries. Sorry about that, I thought talking to them would suffice, but I guess we're analyzing them. None that look fresh enough. You said, you said something? We're just cheering you on. Go say go. <laughs> Okay, Stella. So what do we see here? Hmm? A nice body, an extravagant look that distracts us from the level-headed girl underneath. What about bruises? None! Not even any dirt! I'm impressed! Okay, Betty. Hmm. Ooh, the music stopped. Is she does she have a hand in this? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> what do you smell, Dorothy? An answer! Something wrong? How did you get those wounds? Ooh, I tri- uh, 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 Excuse me. I tripped on my way here. When? When I was buying stuff for say? How long ago? Uh, it was like an hour ago or something. Why so many questions? Those bruises shouldn't be fresher. And unless you trip down some stairs, you shouldn't be so wounded. Uh, <laughs> I woke up Theo who's sleeping underneath me. <laughs> uh, I was gonna make out with Vera when... What, oh, Ver maybe Veronica? When the roof fell and... And... And I tripped on Say's project running away. And I crushed it. And... And now I'm sad and hurt and horny. And, and... Oh my god, you dumb girl! Why didn't you get some help for those wounds? I, I... I'm so sorry, Say. I didn't want you to do... I didn't want to do it. I... Well, you didn't really crush it intentionally. If you did that, it'd be harder for me, but... I'm honestly more worried about you! You could have seriously died there! <laughs> Didn't you say the booth had rubble and debris on it? It was probably there before I fell over it. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that mystery solved. That's that mystery solved. Why did the ceiling collapse, though? And where did the kebab come from? Mystery solved! Anyways, you need help, say? We're gonna get this intense music back on in here. I do, actually. All right, count me in! Me too! Really? Awesome! Yeah, let's help her rebuild our booth! <sighs> I'm beat! Bummer that we didn't finish it today. All that time we could have been helping Say instead of chasing shadows. I'm sorry. Like Say said, it's not like you did it on purpose. I say. Thank you so much! Aw, that's so cute! Look, and they drew her hair all fluffy, it's so cute! <gasps> Ugh, so bright! 
I was worried I couldn't finish on time, but you all helped me out so much! I just I didn't just get back up to speed. I was having a lot of fun, too! <laughs> Aw, that was cute. That filled my heart with warmth. Well, count, me, count on me for tomorrow, too! Me, too! And me. Everything turns out okay in the end, thankfully. I say we celebrate with a mate that I found off the ground that shot through a window. When did you get it back? When I went to the bathroom. You washed your hands, right? Of course. When? No more questions. Oh, Dana, that's disgusting. First, a shot through a window fell on the floor. You picked it up, and now you're touching it with your unwashed bathroom hands. Disgusting. Is that thing even cooked? Of course. Just take a bite and hop. There's paper. You found it on the floor. I'm surprised there's only paper in it. Does it say something? We have taken your friend Iris captive. Come to the pier alone. Ooh. To be continued. To be continued. Is that, was that the end? Like it was like the joke ending or something like that? Is that what it was? Uh, let me briefly look that up. Hold on a sec. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's just like, oh, here's our here's our little plot. It was cute, though. I'll say my full thoughts in just a quick second. Valhalla Kids, it says to be continued. I probably won't. Whenever I Google search either sales pitch or Valhalla Kids, not a lot of information comes up. So, um, first, yeah, for some reason, it's really hard to search, I guess, because, like, not a lot of people have played it. Um, so I'm glad I got the chance to, to play it and take a look. Okay, let me look this up super fast. If nothing shows up in the search, then I will not. Okay. Okay, so I, I, I think I think that's everything. I think it was just like, oh, time for a new adventure or something. So real fast, um, some other things that I know about this game that I probably will not pursue is that um, apparently you can find Anna in each area or something like that. Um, I probably won't do it, but you can find Anna, and if you find all the secrets, I think she'll give you a phrase, which you can use to open up a um, zip file that they have in your downloads. Like when you download the game and check in the folder, uh, there is one that's like Anna has the secret or something like that. And like I think if you search through the game, you'll be able to find her. She'll give you a phrase. Um, there's an article. If you this is one of the the fastest thing that pops, fastest things that pop up when you look up this game, but. The secret that it holds is that it shows a teaser to Skibon's next game, which is awesome. You should look up the trailer for yourself um, or play this game and find all the secrets if you'd like to unlock that for yourself. But there's a little bit bit of a teaser. Um, and it looks like it's 3D, but it looks like it's like older graphics, like on older consoles and stuff like that. I'm totally okay with that, honestly. Seeing Valhalla go into 3D would be amazing in any capacity. And if it has like older style graphics, I'm down, fully down with that too. I, it looked really cool. It only showed like a couple of different images of um, a city and like s skylines and stuff like that. I think there was Jill. I'm not super sure. It looked really awesome though. Um, so yeah, okay, and then briefly, let's let's just talk about the game itself. This was really cute, just like a random little excursion. Um, they didn't they didn't have to do it, but they did, and it was it was really sweet. Um, I I love the art styles so much. Seriously, I'm gonna go look up the artist who did this. You did an amazing job. This looks fantastic, fantastico. Um, it was really cute. I I just got a little bit confused about the random mechanics, but it's like it's whatever. I could you could figure it out after clicking around for a little bit. I enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me for um, Sales Pitch and Valhalla Kids. Um, I'm trying to figure out what next long series I want to jump onto, but I just needed a little bit of a breather in between before we do so. Um, so, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks again, Zaxis. Over and out.